Civil rights laws protect persons with disabilities if they are potential applicants or participants in any FNS-funded programs. In this context, someone with a disability is defined as a person who has a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities, has a record of such an impairment, or is regarded as having such an impairment, including impaired functions of the immune system, normal cell growth, digestive, bowel, bladder, neurological, brain, respiratory, circulatory, cardiovascular, endocrine, or reproductive functions. Major life activities include functions such as caring for oneself, performing manual tasks, walking, seeing, hearing, speaking, breathing, learning, and or working. In order to ensure that everyone has equal access to your program, you should provide reasonable modifications for meal accommodations and ensure that food service areas are accessible. Disabled individuals should be accommodated in the least restrictive and most integrated setting possible. Allergy-free tables, such as peanut-free tables, are acceptable so long as they are not also punishment tables. Programs should provide auxiliary aids and services if needed. This includes, but is not limited to, food service aids, adaptive feeding equipment, and meal tracking assistance. Food substitution requests related to disabilities must be accommodated unless providing the accommodation would fundamentally alter the nature of your program, and they require a note from a doctor or registered dietitian. Complaints of discrimination shall be accepted by organizations participating in the CACFP and forwarded to the USDA FNS Regional Office of Civil Rights. The Maine Human Rights Commission must be notified as well. Complaints must be filed within 180 days of the alleged act of discrimination. Agencies may develop their own complaint forms but the use of such forms cannot be a prerequisite for acceptance. A civil rights complaint log shall be maintained by the subrecipient agency and confidentiality is extremely important and must be maintained. Complaints of discrimination must be filed at the office of the Maine Human Rights Commission at 51 State House Station in Augusta. When you participate in the CACFP, you have two different training requirements related to civil rights. The first civil rights training requirement involves one staff person from each participating organization watching the state agency's annual civil rights training, which is provided as a recorded on-demand training on the CACFP basic training page of the Maine Child Nutrition website, and then completing the accompanying civil rights quiz which documents meeting this requirement. The second civil rights training requirement involves training all CACFP staff and their immediate supervisors on the topic of civil rights annually. Because civil rights information and requirements are the same for all programs, you can use the state agency's recorded civil rights training to train your CACFP staff. You'll document your compliance with this requirement by recording your in-house trainings. You can use the form on the screen to document your in-house trainings, or you can use other methods. For more information on civil rights requirements for child nutrition programs, the federal and state non-discrimination statements, and the main child nutrition program's civil rights training, please visit the webpage on the screen.